Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information, you can log on to JCBRO Labs www.jcbrolabs.com. In this tutorial video, we will talk about how to generate amplitude shift keying modulation techniques uh, in Simulink. So, open MATLAB and type Simulink on the command window. Uh, this Simulink library will open up, create a new model and save it uh, at desktop, let's say on desktop by ASK amplitude shift key and then save it. Uh, before simulating ASK, let's have a brief about what is ASK and how it looks like. So, uh, it's ASK is a, in ASK we get two binary values represented by different uh, amplitudes of the carrier frequency. That means in digital, it is a uh, digital modulation techniques. Digital modulation technique means to transfer zeros and ones, that means binary values over the channel. So, in digital we have two values, either zero or one. So, for zero, we say we don't transmit any signal and for one, we transfer a carrier wave or carrier wave is obviously a sinusoid wave. So, whenever there is a zero in digital bit stream, there will be no transmission or no carrier wave over the channel and as soon as there is a one, a frequency or a carrier wave will be transmitted over it. So, this is the simplest example of the uh, amplitude shift king modulation technique. Now we simulate it on Simulink. So for, for uh, first of all we need to select, uh, we need to generate a carrier wave. So we'll select a sine wave and we'll change its properties. <coughs> like suppose we are taking the frequency over 100 radian per second and sample rate will be 0 0.005. Zero, zero, 001 and then apply and ok now second thing for generating bit stream we will be needing pulse generator so we will change its properties and we will take the period let's uh, take time based we will take the period of let's say 2 second and pulse width will be 50% of the cycle now we will multiply both the signals simply and let's say we will get commonly used product select product block and simple interconnect connect all the connections and we need to see the result so we'll select a scope and then that's it our model is ready ready let's simulate it uh, click on this run button and it's simulated oops there's a small sign uh, as we are previous video we already know what's the problem is well, let's rerun it so we are getting uh, ASK wave so for this this is a 1 this is 0 1 and 0 so I have simulated entirely a square wave so in a square wave high portion is representing 1 and other is representing 0 uh, let's try to show both the signal on the same graph uh, let's have a max there and collect it connect So this purple line is showing the bit stream 1 there is a carrier wave 0 no carrier wave 1 carrier wave so this is how we can simulate ASK in Simulink. So in this video you have learned how to simulate ASK uh, in Simulink and I hope uh, you have enjoyed this video so that's it for this video thank you.